Welcome once again to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung, and in this video, I want to start showing how a neuron connects to and stimulates a muscle fiber. To understand this, we have to first um, draw an image of what's called the neuromuscular junction. This part that I'm first drawing is a neuron. It's the end of the neuron. Um, this part is called the axon of the neuron, and it's coming from some neuron which is quite far away. In fact, it's in the spinal cord. The cell body of the neuron is in the spinal cord, and the axon comes out, runs down a nerve, and to the muscle that it attaches to or that it connects with. So that part is called the axon. The axon is wrapped in what's called a myelin sheath. So this wrapping is called myelin. This part here of the axon that comes out, gets larger, and is going to actually connect with the muscle cell, and I'll start drawing the muscle cell sarcolemma. This widened area here is called the axon terminal. The axon terminal is sometimes called the axon button or the axon buton, just so you know if you hear it again. Inside of the axon terminal, there will be vesicles. And those vesicles, I don't know if you can see the dots I'm making, but those vesicles contain neurotransmitter. In this case, the neurotransmitter is the neurotransmitter of muscle contraction, acetylcholine. So, synaptic vesicle, or synaptic vesicles containing ACH, which is the short for acetylcholine. So we have the end of a neuron. This part's called the axon. It goes down here to the axon terminal. And inside the axon terminal, we have vesicles. And those vesicles contain acetylcholine. The muscle side. This is the sarcolemma of the muscle cell, the membrane of the muscle cell. And this part of the sarcolemma is usually called a motor end plate. For the students in my class right now, the textbook that we're using right now doesn't say motor end plate. At least I haven't seen it anywhere. But that's classic. What it's called is the motor end plate. And it has these um, junctional folds. That's what these are. These are junctional folds in this neuromuscular junction. The area containing the, the junctional folds, the area that's close to the axonal buton or the axon terminal, it has receptors. I'll draw those as little red things. And these are membrane proteins that span the membrane. And in particular, these receptors are receptors for acetylcholine. acetylcholine receptors. And those are all of the major parts of the, um, of the neuromuscular junction. Now we can move on to really starting to understand how, this, how the muscle cell is going to be stimulated by the neuron. Um, so look for the next video. Thanks again for watching. 